Hello there, good people of Model Behaviorville. In the video you're about to watch, I spend a good five, maybe ten minutes, complaining that Mafex made a Ben Riley figure who cannot hold the mask he comes with. Turns out, I was being an idiot. And the rant that I went on, heck, I pretty much tore Mafex a new one, was completely unjustified, because many people pointed out, if you do it properly, he can hold his mask just fine. Turns out that even though I could see the peg in his hand, I was trying to stick it in the wrong hole. That's what she said. So folks, please enjoy the review because I didn't edit out my rant. I thought it's only fair that if I say something stupid, I should be held accountable for it and people should be able to watch and laugh. So enjoy that little bit and also bear in mind that actually, I really, really love this figure now. Way more than it seems in the review. So disregard that idiot and consider this one of the best new figures I've added to my collection. Hello there gang and welcome to another episode of Displaying Model Behaviour, the Earth's mightiest action figure video podcast. So take off your pants, crack a beer and let's talk toys. Let's talk about the Mafex Ben Riley Sensational Spider-Man. Finally, finally, it's in my hands. So let's talk about it. First of all, just the Mafex box is really pretty. If you haven't picked up or seen a Mafex before, they do some really lovely graphic design on here with the Spider-Man logo and the different images of the figure himself. Then, with all the product shots on the back showing the different ways it can be displayed and the beautiful kanji on there, which just makes it look sort of exclusive and international and kind of sexy, just like this show. So, let's crack him open and see how he looks. So as you can see, Ben Riley comes with, I think, seven different hands. He's got the unmasked head, he has the mask just like as a soft mask which I really love that they include that and then he's got some different feet which actually have magnets on as well magnets bitch so that's a really nice touch and a whole bunch of webs which I'll probably never use but are great for photography if that's what you do so let's take a look at him so here is Ben Riley out of the packaging and there's something about Mafex where it just feels delicate but also very well made. The thing is no joints on the Mafex are stiff, like they're all not loose, they're just right. It's the Hansel and Gretel kind of effect here, whereas with Marvel Legends sometimes you get the wobble and the loosey goosey and other times you gotta like come on! do this to try and get them to bend, whereas with Mafex you can feel like that's where the money's gone. Whatever the tooling, whatever the processes of making these figures, it's just like so smooth and you're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I appreciate that. And look at the kind of dynamic sort of articulation you can get going on here full-on swinging through the air kind of poses. Really, if you're a photographer as well, your imagination is all that limits you. And what's lovely with these joints is, of course, there's no big pins sticking out or anything. There's nothing really obvious. I'm looking at you, Retro Spider-Man and Ben Riley, with your big red pins. These ones, it's nice. The full blue is exactly that. Full blue, no big pins, really nice to see. And then, of course, just the detail, the line work. Hey! Remember when we used to actually get the lines actually painted on Spider-Man figures? I'm joshing, actually, you know, most of them still are. I mean, gosh, beautiful. Where is he? I'll get him out later. But yeah, the sensational Spider-Man we just got from Marvel Legends. Chef Kiss, mwah, gonna compare those two later. But yeah, no, that's got painted lines too. I'm just being a dick. But the fact that I can even make that joke means that Hasbro, you gotta do better. So yeah, this looks very, very pretty, and all the lines are actually sculpted in there as well with the lovely big spider logo there too. I'm not going to like wax lyrical for too long because you can see it. I'm, you know, you can see what I'm talking about. He has the toe articulation as well. And actually, if you want to be like super kind of critical, of course you can see the pins. You can see the little silver pins in in the toes, so it's not like invisible. But I mean, come on, come on. So yeah, this is a nice looking Spider-Man with the big 90s eyes. That's what we love to see as well. That's such a nice touch. So let's do some head swaps and see what kind of poses we can get him in. Okay, you know what? Really complete honesty. I was trying to do a like for like comparison with this maskless Ben Riley and this maskless Ben Riley. Both of them holding their masks, recreating this classic comic cover that I really enjoy. I thought this guy would be better at it because he actually comes with a soft mask. Not a soft goods mask, but you know what I mean, like an, an unworn mask. His hands can't grip it, which is really frustrating because on the box, on the box you can clearly see him gripping his mask. And look, I can see that there are actually little 
little like little not even holes but little, little dents in the mask and he has these hands that have teeny tiny little pegs which it would make sense that you can put the, the mask in the peg so he can hold it doesn't hold it, it, it just doesn't the the holes too big or too shallow it, it he can't he can't hold his mask so this, this is a nice little accessory that I just spent 10 minutes trying to get him to hold and he can't do it. So actually, Marvel Legends Ben Reilly, you win the mask holding right there. I mean, it's not a perfect recreation of what I was going for, but still, it's better than what I could do with Mafex where he, it's, he just can't hold the mask. It's a, a sn annoying little gripe, but it's something to kind of bear in mind that like, honestly, if, if you can get your Ben Reilly to hold the mask, send me a picture of it on Instagram and be like, dumbass, you do it like this. But on honestly, I can't, I can see little holes, but they don't, it doesn't stick. I've tried all the different hands, all the different grips. He ain't holding that mask. So it's a bit of, a bit, of, a bit of a shame there. Then also with the unmasked face, it's not fair to do a which figure is better because this head does not come with this Ben Riley. I pilfered this from my retro Scarlet Spider. So I'm not saying that like this is better because of it because he doesn't come with that. But also this unmasked head, I feels like a bit of a bit of a sort of a porcelain kind of I don't feel much humanity to this face. He he looks almost too too pristine, too too modelish. I don't know. I'm I'm not a big fan of this unmasked face. So I thought that when I saw the original, you know, pictures of the figure, I was like, oh, I don't know about that that masked head. It looks like too much of a perfect blank cover model sort of you know airbrushed beautiful person and it's like nah, that's not really Ben Riley. I'm, I'm not digging that so I probably wouldn't display him with that with that unmasked head there because I'm just not feeling it so yeah for me the big wide 90s eyes are the way to go although the smaller the smaller eyelets with a more sinister kind of spider type lens that does look really cool I, I dig that but still the fact that the uh, Marvel Legends one only has the small eyes from like the retro mask real missed opportunity there Hasbro I'm gonna make sure that I display this guy with the biggest widest 90s eyes that you can find and Essentially, that's it for my kind of spider-man review I don't want to linger on this too long because kind of you get it I found a lot of reviews that kind of outstay their welcome a little bit I'm not gonna do that you can get him in all kinds of beautiful crazy poses and that's really really cool I do like this figure, but I also feel like like, this is where Mafex, I'm thinking, you know, if it's if it's not containing sort of any incredible power effects or some nice soft goods or something, then I think, like, do I need that instead of the Marvel Legend, considering that this costs a fraction of the price of this? Again, I'm saying, just because something is high-end doesn't mean it's better. It might mean it's maybe some better materials or something, but when you're just looking at it on a shelf, I like the fact that this guy is slightly bigger, slightly bulkier. This still scales perfectly with Marvel Legends. However, it's not like necessarily the best because of his extra articulation and, and stuff. I feel like it's a little bit spindly in places. I, I'm just not a hundred percent down for this. I, I like him. He's Ben Riley, of course. I'm gonna I'm gonna have him and I'm gonna appreciate him and enjoy him and I do and he's probably gonna look amazing in some good photos as well I do love the amount of articulation you get with the torso and the hips and the waist and all that kind of thing So you can put him in some really fun poses, but on the whole I think that I I like the uniformity with the Marvel Legends and this is really really pretty so if I could only keep one I don't know I probably would keep this one because it is it is a more high-end figure, but still just Kudos to Legends because this stands up really nicely, but then again, I'm being swayed a bit because he's got the unmasked head Which the figure doesn't actually come with so still even just actually holding him in this position He does look kind of cool I think if you play around with him so much You've got so many different hands and accessories to mess around with and the webs as well The posing options are endless so on the whole he's a good figure, but he's not like oh my god This is great. Would he have made my top 10 if I got him in time last year? Possibly not. That's the thing. It's interesting. Just because I love the character doesn't mean I'm going to blindly just say, Oh, everything with him is amazing. So yeah, it's a good figure. I'm happy that I've got him. Am I over the moon? Nah, I'm just as satisfied as I probably thought I was going to be. And folks, that does it for my Ben Riley Spider-Man review. I think some of you might be surprised that I wasn't like gushing over him, but I'm trying not to be too biased with like, Oh, it's Ben Riley, so of course it's the most amazing figure ever. 
No, trying to actually be like a decent reviewer. I know, it's bonkers to even attempt it. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, you can do by getting a YouTube membership, going over to patreon.com, or picking up one of these snazzy t-shirts. Links in the description below. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, keep displaying model behavior. Hello there, gang, and welcome to another episode of... Just got to warm up my mouth a little bit. Me, 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 mo, mo. The human torch was denied a bank loan. Try again.